And one of the buildings that really influenced this one was a building called the Guarantee Building in New York, which has got this extraordinary sort of almost incantatory uh, feeling about it. It's got this wonderful tapestry-like quality. And that's directly influenced by this idea that although it's a stone building, that it's somehow trying to imitate the intensity and the enmeshed kind of thicket-like quality of tapestries. Originally, people, when they wanted to separate the interior of a building from the exterior, used hanging carpets to do it. And you can see it in Assyria, you can see it in Egypt, you can see in Greece and Rome, the idea of using hanging tapestries as a way of separating spaces from each other. When people stopped using hanging tapestries, although they used new materials like stone or brickwork or so on, but somehow the way that they used those materials imitated the way that tapestries had been woven. So the motif of the tapestry carries through right up into the modern age into architecture. Some of that kind of thinking that we want to apply to the tapestry project. So we gave one element the name the tower, and it's a bit that, that forms the end of the long terrace, and it's the 16-storey part. The top of that, you've got great views all across London in different directions. And the middle section is part of the street, and we saw that as being something which you see in the narrow space of the street. The facade is slightly different because of that, and it's got the large um, square um, on, on the roof. And then the last bit, which we think of as being associated with the water and with the, with the gas holder, we see it having a different kind of architecture. So it seemed natural to have one kind of architecture, but three different buildings. So the way that we work here, you can see these images here, with the, both of them are looking at the relationship between the structural frame and the balconies, and the way in which decoration is used on the balconies. Here the decoration is much more abstract and mathematical, it isn't a figurative decoration, but it'll still give that fizz, that sense of three-dimensionality to the facade. And I like the top corner here where it opens up and you get that sort of magic carpet quality. I think that people are much more open to the possibility that architecture can really enhance daily life and can enhance the space of the city. People in London looking at a new development like the King's Cross development are going to feel as though potentially something really exciting and interesting is happening here and that it's going to become a vibrant part of the city.